Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Now, at the time of shooting this video, it is Christmas Eve and we will be dining at Amalfi by Bobby Flay. Now, Amalfi is Bobby Flay's take on cuisine from the Amalfi Coast. And as a Sicilian American, I am very excited to be enjoying a little bit of Italian seafood on Christmas Eve, as is tradition by many Italian Americans. So stick with us for this tantalizing episode of James and Paul Try It All. I don't know about you, Paul, but I am ready for some tasty food. We recently got to dine at Bobby Flay's other restaurant, newly opened Brasserie B here at Caesars Palace. And if Brasserie B was any indication of what we're experiencing tonight, I am itching with anticipation. Alright, we have placed our order. We've ordered a antipasti, two pastas, uh, and then we've each ordered a main. Now, we are refraining from any cocktails because admittedly after four nights in Vegas, we have not nearly drank enough water. So uh, we're just sticking with uh, water for tonight. We're really excited to show everything off. Our first course will be some charred octopus, so stay tuned. So one thing that I am really impressed about with this meal is the fact that they bring out a list of the fish available that is shipped in from the Amalfi Coast. With that being said, you have the option to have it either filleted table side or have it brought in whole. So it's up to you. And the fish is always sold by the pound and market price. So I'm excited to see what's gonna happen with the fish that we have coming out. All right, we're gonna start with some charred octopus. I love octopus, especially in a Italian cuisine setting. So I'm gonna grab this nice big piece here. Oh, beautiful cut. Mmm, chewy on the inside, crispy on the outside. Flavorful, a little citrusy, some bacon lard a little bit of herb. Oh, smoky, not one thing wrong with this. So this is my turn to try this amazing octopus. First of all, I wanna say how easy it is to cut through. Sometimes when I've ordered octopus, it's a little too rubbery. There is nothing rubbery about this octopus. This is tender and it melts in your mouth. So if you are here, make sure to order this octopus. One thing I wanna point out as we just finished our octopus is that our server took the time to explain to us a little bit about how the process is in how they prepare it. It is braised for two hours and then it is marinated in olive oil for a 24 hour period. At that point, that will remove a lot of the rubbery texture that you normally get with the octopus and it's grilled to order. So if you've never had octopus before, I highly recommend trying it here. So that way you can see how amazing this dish can be. Alrighty, our pastas have arrived and they look delicious. I'm gonna start with the squid ink fettuccine, which includes squid, shrimp, lobster and fra diavolo sauce, which is a spicy marinara sauce and one of my absolute favorite pasta sauces. So let's tuck in here and help ourselves to a nice heaping helping. Oh yes, look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna make sure to take a little bit of extra shrimp away from my husband who's allergic to it. Not that allergic, don't worry viewers, he'll be fine. He's taking a Benadryl. Let's give this a bite. Fra Diavolo is literally one of my favorite pasta sauces. The tomato is bright, acidic. There's a nice little bit of spice to it. Not the spiciest Fra Diavolo I've ever had, but good. Frankly, I'm, I'm not against that because I don't feel like heartburn tonight. Let's give a little bit of bite of this lobster. Uh -huh. Lobstery goodness. The flavor is strong. It's sweet, so good. Let's try the shrimp now. The shrimp is cooked perfectly. And again, it's very fresh. All in all, a wonderful pasta dish. 
And for our next pasta, we went with the butternut squash goat cheese agnolotti. This features brown butter, date balsamico, and toasted walnuts. So I got a little bit of the agnolotti here. Now we do a variation of fried sage pasta at home with brown butter. So I'm excited to see what Bobby Flay's version is like. Oh wow, this is like nothing I have created at home. The brown butter is nice and nutty. The walnuts give it that extra nuttiness, but the butternut squash comes through the agnolotti perfectly. It just rounds out everything in this dish. You also have the date balsamico that adds a little bit of sweetness with a little bit of tart. All in all, this is a perfect dish. As someone who's a very big fan of butternut squash and pasta with brown butter and sage, I just want to say that this is better than it has any right to be. I need this recipe. I am tasking my husband with how to figure out how to make a date balsamico. Our main courses have arrived, and we're gonna begin with this chicken parmigiano. This is a beautiful, crispy looking chicken cutlet with Parmesan, marinara, mozzarella, and arugula. Uh, now, obviously we mostly came for the seafood, but it's hard to say no to chicken Parmesan. So I'm gonna cut off a little, a little wedge of this here. Get a little bit of that marinara sauce. Boop, just transfer it to my plate. Oh yeah, it is absolutely crunchy, crispy. It looks tender and juicy. Let's give it a taste. So the breading, first off, I, much like I, I thought, perfectly crisp and crunchy. The chicken is wonderfully cooked, juicy, just flavorful. The marinara is, Acidic, but tomatoey. The tomato really comes through. It, they're using very good tomatoes, obviously. The arugula adds a tiny little bit of extra pepperiness to it, like arugula is known to do. This is a good chicken parmesan, I can't lie. Um, so for those of you who may not be fans of fish, this is a fantastic alternative if you don't enjoy seafood. Seasoned beautifully. No complaints. So we are on to our fish course which we went with the Dorad. We actually had them go ahead and debone it and fillet it for us. So they brought it out on a nice, beautiful platter. And we've got it with the spicy Calabrian chili pesto, as well as the salsa verde. Let's go ahead and start with that spicy Calabrian chili pesto. Put a little bit there on that fish. Wow. That fish is cooked perfectly. It's got a nice crisp on the inside of the fish. It, they left the skin on the fish. And that spicy Calabrian chili pesto has a nice mild heat that comes through. We're gonna try the fish now with the salsa verde, which is almost like a Italian chimichurri for fish. Now, the salsa verde is a mixture of basically parsley and olive oil. Now that bite of fish is amazing. It comes through perfectly. You can get the taste of the olive oil as well as the parsley. And I do want to recommend that if you are going to go ahead and order a white fish, go ahead with that salsa verde. Admittedly, I am not normally one to order whole fish at a restaurant. Normally uh, when it comes to regular fish, uh, my choice is fish and chips. I can't lie. I'm a huge fan of shellfish. So this is, I don't want to say stepping outside my comfort zone, but it's something that I wouldn't normally order myself. So I'm excited to give it a shot and tell you what I think about it. Turning with the salsa verde here at my husband's recommendation. And I can say it's definitely nice and crispy on the outside. It's a flaky white fish. The salsa verde looks like it is parsley, a little bit of chive and olive oil. So yeah, just like Paul said, very similar to a chimichurri. Let's give this a bite. Wow, the salsa verde is bright, flavorful. The chive, the parsley, just works perfectly. It allows you to really appreciate the fish for what it is and its natural flavor. I mean, maybe I am a whole fish fan and I just never realized it. That was wonderful. I have to go in for another bite with that, but I also do want to try the red pepper Calabrian chili pesto here. I do love me a pesto. Let's get that little smear. I love the pesto. It's delightful. 
The only problem that I'm finding is that it completely masks the flavor of the fish. Whereas the salsa verde allows you to appreciate the natural flavors of the Duran. Either one though, great choices. I'm just gonna keep eating this fish now. Oh, Bobby Flay, you're making me even more of a food snob than I already am. I can't believe I just wanna like eat, like I'm like, man, I'm, I'm sad we don't have any more fish. It is now time for dessert. Uh, we went with the triple lemon cake. Uh, admittedly, this was my choice as lemon just seems like a wonderful, uh, obligatory dessert when it comes to Italian food. So let's dig in. I adore lemon cake and this looks delightful. Not sure where I wanna start. I do wanna say I love the candied lemon peel. That's something I always put on lemon desserts whenever I make them. So nice touch, Bobby Flay. Then we go on this side here. Looks like a beautiful lemon curd in between the middle of the cake layers. Oh, it is, it's a dense cake, but it's not bad. All right, this is a big bite, so let's hope I didn't give this on myself. That beats the pants off the lemon cakes I make. I can't lie, now I'm kind of sad because I think I make a good lemon cake. That's really, really good. I wish we would have bought two of these. I'm not even that hungry anymore. But my God, I want this whole thing to myself. This is a great way to end the meal. Stay tuned for our final thoughts on Amalfi. All right, my friends, we are absolutely stuffed to the brim with delicious food. Uh, Amalfi was an experience to be had and I am utterly pleased. Uh, I think Paul is too, would, would yes, you agree? I am very pleased by it. Yeah, definitely a must check out if it's within your budget and you're able to uh, to make it work. All in all, our dinner, everything that you saw, ran us just about $250. Uh, with a $50 tip, uh, we then came to $300 in total. That being said, the entire staff was just phenomenal. Everyone was so kind, so professional, and made us feel incredibly welcome. Uh, I am looking forward to the time when I can come back and experience that again. All that being said, we wanna thank you guys so very much for watching today, and we really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for all of your support just in watching the video, liking, commenting, subscribing, everything that you do to help keep us running and keep us producing more content Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. If you haven't already, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell uh, icon for notifications whenever we release a new episode of James and Paul Try It All. Now, you guys are the real star of the show. We wouldn't be doing this without you and your continued support. We just want to keep bringing you really super fun content. So, on that note, guys, we want to thank you one last time, and uh, we hope you enjoyed. Have a great one. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.